in the past we've had a really hard time with kind of we we offer sometimes if it seems like it's more interpersonal than it is yeah. actual rule breaking right. and it's people just not getting along you know we we do have a system for mediation and mm, nice. we got into some uh, there were some interpersonal things this year that came up that that we're like well i think this really is a situation where mediation is in is the proper choice and mm -hmm. we had some pushback from from not necessarily the students that were in it but the the mm. the clerks that were like i don't know if we should make that decision because in the past that has always just felt like a lecture and mm. no one wants to be there and and it just ends up being this thing is like and 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 what i had to do as someone who was newer to being a staff member on mediation would be well i uh, let's see if they would be even willing to come in the room if they mm -hmm. are let's give this a try and just mm -hmm. you know we can have actually a because usually mediation is more of a like let's get peers out of the equation and just mm -hmm. talk with that one individual and right. a staff mediator mm -hmm. in this case it was like we can ask them if a if a rc clerk restoration committee clerk can be there as well mm. so that we're all working together so it doesn't feel like oh the adult is lecturing that's <laughs> yeah. not you're right that will never be effective mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we we did that and had this had this really positive experience of talk just talk to me like i'm not going to tell you what to do just talk to mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and and let's really just establish rules in this room about you're like you don't have to agree in fact mm. you don't i we know that you already don't so <laughs> don't but you have to the only thing we ask is that you listen mm -hmm. and and we're not going to tell you how to feel about that mm -hmm. just listen mm -hmm. and giving that power not only did we come to something that was like oh, okay i think we can see eye to eye but then two weeks later those two people are literally hanging out and you and you're talking about how they were texting the night before and like mm -hmm. you know just mm -hmm. it's like okay you you've gone through like it was they were not being kind to each other <laughs> and like it was mm -hmm. real mm -hmm. like yeah. there was a reason for mediation and and then oh look at that you took some time to figure out how to talk to each other mm -hmm. respect each other and found out that you weren't that far off from what you each wanted and now you're not only getting along but being friendly outside of school mm -hmm. this is the agentic schools vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills what makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.